Case number eight is of a 17-year-old male. Here we have a plain film x-ray showing a lytic lesion in the distal femur epiphysis. The lesion is lytic, meaning it is black compared to this, the surrounding bone. However, the edge of the uh, lytic lesion is white, corresponding to a sclerotic border, which means that the body has enough time to build up a barrier of uh, bone to halt the progression of this, this tumor. The patient is skeletally immature, as you can see by the open growth plate in the tibia, the proximal fibula, and the uh, distal femur. Tissue was obtained, which shows a polygonal epithelioid proliferation of nuclei, some of which have longitudinal grooves. They have very um, easily identifiable cell membranes and nuclear borders. The cytoplasm is pink, eosinophilic, and some of the nuclei are folded or reniform shaped. The uh, tumor also has areas in which there are basophilic slash grungy calcifications in a chick, so-called chicken wire pattern, pericellular. And at the bottom right, immunohistochemistry was performed for H3K36M, which is a um, immunohistochemical surrogate for the uh, mutation in the histone protein that shows um, positivity. And it also shows how many of these nuclei are uh, boomerang shaped, kidney bean shaped, or reniform, which is something that is uh, commonly seen in this tumor. This is a chondroblastoma, which is a benign immature cartilage tumor, uh, which accounts for less than 1% of all bone tumors, typically arising in patients ages 10 to 25 years of age or skeletally immature. However, rarely chondroblastomas may occur in um, skeletally mature patients and older adults. Typically, chondroblastoma is seen in the epiphysis or apophysis of long bones, femur, tibia, or humerus. Um, occasionally, it can be seen in the talus, calcaneus, or the head and neck. Chondroblastoma is typically uh, presents radiographically is a lytic lesion with sclerotic and well-defined borders. Um, histologically, chondroblasts are these polygonal cells with this eosinophilic cytoplasm that may have nuclear grooves. Uh, the background matrix may be chondroid. Admixture of giant cells as well as chicken wire calcifications are often seen. As I mentioned, um, the mutation on the histone protein at position K36M was recently described and a immunohistochemical surrogate um, has been developed, which is diagnostically useful with H3K36M immunohistochemistry, which is not positive in the mimics such as giant cell tumor bone, aneurysmal bone cyst, clear cell chondrosarcoma, and among others. The treatment for chondroblastoma is curatage and the prognosis is excellent.